Okay, I'm starting the recording for our weekly Chaos Hangout call today on June 18, 2019. Welcome. I just shared in the chat the link to our Google Doc for the meeting minutes. So feel free to join and keep minutes. Oh, Daniel, I see you just joined. Perfect timing. You are just mm. starting. Great. I just got into my apartment one minute ago. <laughs> Me as well. Perfect. The, the story is that Daniel dropped me off at the subway station. <laughs> so I, we don't have an agenda today. It's just a weekly hangout call. So what's on your mind? We can for sure talk about the upcoming metrics release. So as everyone knows, uh, we have a feature freeze planned for the end of this week. It sounds more dramatic than it is. Uh, we just wanna close the books on what metrics to include in this first release. And to be honest, the first release is really more about figuring out what our process is and figuring out how we want to do everything. There was a lot of discussion before we even announced that we wanted to have our first release. So just getting all that to close would be really amazing. And I know the working groups have been working hard to include the first set of metrics in the release, we talked about it in detail last week. So maybe we can ask the working groups if they have any updates on the metrics that they're including or if they ran into issues or concerns that they want to share and discuss. So I'm opening the floor. I, I can comment on the evolution working group if you want. So uh, during the last weeks, we have been working mainly on the implementation staff with the Google Summer of Code student that is, who is working with us. And uh, we are still planning to release the metrics that we have, which are mostly related to activity in source code. But we hope to have some, also some metrics uh, related to uh, efficiency in um, dealing with issues of activity. And um, I think that's all. Well, there is also, sorry, there is also your, your, your work um, and Alberto on the, including the visualizations for the uh, model apps in the definition of the metrics, which is something that is nice to have because that uh, allows to have an idea of how the metric works in the, in the real world. I'm trying to write out what you just said, so feel free to yeah. Add and yeah, follow on. I can complement. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So evolution is wrapping up metrics with the uh, reference implementations and um, known implementation description on where to find the metrics in our chaos software, which is great. The DNI working group. Um, um, well, go ahead. Well, if you want to say it, please do. Oh, we were we had a meeting yesterday where we were working on the uh, code of conduct. Um, well, we we are going to release for for metrics. Um, yeah, this is all. So, <laughs> I, I was I was five. I think we have five. Oh, we have five. Oh, you're right. Yep. So we have the yeah yeah the code of conduct. So we have two code of conduct. One of them is at the event level. The the other ones is at the governance focus area. You're right. Uh, the question I have, and this is more uh, to be answered after this. So at least I don't I don't lose the the question in my mind. Is how are we? How are 
what's the strategy of chaos to get the most impact of this release? But this is probably to be answered later. Okay, I wrote down the question. Thank Someone you. can think about it. We'll finish the working group updates and then we can open discussion mm -hmm. for that question. Thank you for adding it to our agenda. Thank you. Even though we don't have an agenda. <laughs> Um, do we have anyone here from RISC? I'll just say no update. Common. I'm uh, I am working on RISC right now. Uh, however, I don't really have an update other than to say we're uh, we're plugging away trying to get some uh, some uh, metric pages knocked out for the release. So we're not sure how many we'll get done. Okay. Thank you for the update, Kevin. Any um, issues or questions or discussions that you ran into that might be interesting to share with the group? Kevin, that was a question for you. I'm sorry? I was asking if you had any conversations in the risk working group or questions that might be interesting for the whole chaos group. Um, not really. Right now, we're working in the uh, we're primarily working in the documents. Most of the most of the people in this uh, working group are, are traveling, so we actually didn't meet this week. Gotcha. Okay. Now we can move on to. Common. Common is meeting this week again. Yeah, it met last week, but I was I was traveling, so I didn't make it. Was anybody Was anybody there? If not, I can summarize the notes, I guess. Not me. I'm sorry. I think I missed it as well. Kevin, were you there? I think Kevin's on mute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I was there. It was a it was an abbreviated meeting, so I, we didn't meet for the the full period. Looks like maybe there's some discussion about the organizational affiliation metric, which I think is the one that's probably going to be in the release. Yeah, I think and Brian Profit is taking the uh, the lead on that. Cool. I just really? added some content to it today. Oh, good. And then with the responsiveness metric, Daniel, that's in your ball court, but I know you're busy. I know that wasn't a question. It was an invitation for a comment. Okay, I'll just say working on metrics. Uh, value working group, we had a very short meeting, but didn't do anything. Um, I also don't think value, I don't know if value actually will have a metric in this release. So, anything else, metrics? release related. Um, do you have an update on the prototype, what the metric release would look like, Kevin? Yeah, let me, let me share with you what I have right now. I just dropped it in the chat. <sighs> Making me go to a different place. There. Okay. Thank you. They want to say something about the structure or how it's going to work. Uh, I would like to. I would like to stress that this is still the prototype. So any comments or uh, edits that you would like to make, please feel free to uh, to say something, or uh, or I can direct you to the the GitHub repo as well. 
um, Kevin, at the one top one. of the page, we do have. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, please go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, at the top of the page, we do have a release table. So the release table corresponds to the uh, uh, focus areas. And then per the discussion from uh, the last meeting, we are going to, or we talked about adding a link in the, uh, in these, in the release to a specific issue within the GitHub repository. So for event diversity, diversity access tickets. We have a comment link that would take you to an issue where you can comment specifically on diversity access tickets. Um, a minor comment, Kevin. Uh, uh -huh. in, the, in the bottom tables, where you have the metrics which is for each of the working groups, you uh -huh. have uh, columns for metric, question, and comment. I think it would be interesting to have also the column for a uh, goal. Or, I'm sorry. Or maybe, uh, we have the, the goal question metric methodology, which means that we have goals, questions, and metrics. Right yes. Now, right now we have like, um, for instance, in the case of diversity, we have focus area goals. In the case of uh, evolution, uh, we don't have a single focus area, a single goal for each of the focus areas. We have several. Okay, above the above the table in the release area, I do have the focus area goal listed. No, but what, what I mean is that we have more than one goal per focus area. Oh, gotcha. So. Uh, uh, so I think uh, that, that only means that you can have several entries for different goals and that's it. So you can just list one table after the other and that's it. Or maybe you are already intending to do that. So does each, so are you saying that each uh, detail for instance, go, go to the, go to the um, let, let me share a link with you. Because maybe we are talking about the same thing. Let me let me show a link, which is for instance for the code development, code development focus area. So I'm going to write the the link in the chat. There we are. So um, what I mean is that if you go down. In, the, in that you see that there are three different goals and each of the goals has um, a set of uh, questions and methods, right? Mm -hmm. Right now in the list of uh, released metrics, we only have metrics for goal activity, but we have a pull request for goal uh, efficiency that hopefully will be a profit tomorrow. That means that we're going to have two different goals. And the question is, how do you want to uh, consider that in the list of tables that we have in the release page? That's a good question. Do you understand what I mean? Or? I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Do you have so thoughts on it, Jörg? I'm developing thoughts. Okay. Work in progress. So we have the code development focus area, and then we have within that a focus area activity. So we have a sub focus area, the way that I see it. And then within that focus area, we have three questions, and each question has multiple metrics. Um, it's, it's not exactly like that. It's like in the focus area, we have three goals, and each of the goal has different different questions. And for each of the question, you, you may have one or more metrics. Yep. So the way that I have always thought about it is that each goal is one focus area. So the way that in my mind, and this doesn't have to be the way it ends up being, code development is a meta focus area with three actual focus areas. One is activity, one is efficiency, and one is quality. Well, in the goal question metric methodology, you have the goal. So you need to, to put the goals at some level. And at some point in the evolution working group, we decided that 
uh, the, 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 the code areas, sorry, the, the, the focus areas were like a general environment where people may uh, have different goals. So for instance, uh, the focus area for code development is trying to understand code development. And uh, the goals in that understanding is, I want to understand or learning about activity. I want to learn about efficiency and I want to learn about quality. Yeah. And for each of those, we have specific questions. Like, I yeah. would like to know how much people are coding, for instance, with uh, SMAP2 commits. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, I don't mind if we rename this at some point, but maybe we are a bit too late in the release process to rename this now. And that's, that's why my proposal was only that in the table that you have now, for instance, for evolution, you have focus area and below it, you have focus area goal, semicolon and the name of the focus area and then the table. I um, think that makes perfect sense. Yeah, my, my suggestion is that below that you have another focus area goal and another table and that's it. So that means that the yep. focus area is going to have two tables and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Uh, my question there would be, I'm, I'm not completely sure without looking at it, is there duplication in the metrics uh, for those focus areas, uh, for, the, for the goals, for the specific goals? For example, are we releasing the same metric in two different tables or three different tables? If we use so usually, usually no. And right now, as far as I know, we are not doing that. But at some point that could be done because there could be uh, some metric that is interesting from two different points of view. But so right now we are not doing what that. We have now. Yeah. So let's go with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm perfectly happy to do that. I think that's a that's a, an easy an easy fix. Okay. Maybe maybe yeah. for the next release we can discuss this uh, with more detail because uh, my, my feeling is that the same metric could even happen in different working groups. But that's something that right. probably we can, decide, we can decide later on because as, as far as I know, that's not happening now. Yeah, and the way that DNI and this understanding goals, question metrics is slightly different because what okay. we call a metric is really a collection of different atomic metrics, whereas Evolution seems to tease those metrics out as individual metrics and not have a page that summarizes the overall question yeah. and how these okay. metrics fit together. So maybe that's a discussion that we can have after the release and try to be a bit more uniform on how we yep. aim to. Okay. I agree. Now that's that was a good find. Okay. For the rest, I'm 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 perfectly happy with the with the schema for the release. I like it. Yep. Thank you, Kevin, for putting that together. And then, last time we talked about tagging all of the working group repositories with a um, version release tag, and then pulling in that version release tag markdown file to the website. Right. Yes. One thing we need to think about is, um, maybe you already have a solution for this. What do we do with pictures and screenshots that are currently linked using relative links? We'll have to convert those, I suspect. For the release, I think those all have to be converted. So do you mean I'm sorry. Uh, I would say after detail pages, we we shouldn't have uh, we shouldn't have relative links. And I will I will shut up now. Sorry. Okay. So I was asking what is relative link in this context. What I mean with the relative link when you go to the evolution working groups uh, metrics, we added screenshots to the metric display in Grimoire Lab. And those pictures are pulled in from a image folder inside the repository and the path to that image is relative. So we just say in that folder images is that picture. We don't say the full URL. And once we pull the markdown file into the um, website, the domain 
changes and the path changes where this page is loaded. And so the relative path to the image is going to be broken. Okay, then maybe we need to copy, uh, which, I, which I think is what Kevin was suggesting, to copy the images to, to avoid that problem. Yep, and then change the links in the markdown file. Perfect. Well, I think, I mean, relative links are sort of a best practice, right? So we don't, I think it's going to be hard to ask people not to do that. Um, I wonder if it would be easier to just, uh, isn't there, I mean, I would think it'd be fairly easy to script a fix to that, right? Just like to parse any relative links and add in the, the full path when we convert the files. But well, we, don't, we don't actually convert the files. Uh, we're pulling them directly from the repository. So whatever, whatever you have in the detail page is, is what we grab to the website. In, in, if, we're, if what you are grabbing, you respect the same structure of the repository and you grab the images to the same directory and everything, the relative paths are, are going to work. But the images are not being pulled by this plugin. This plugin only pulls the markdown file, creates an mm -hmm. HTML page and displays it. It does not look at dependencies. Okay, I see. And so there is no image in the website pulled from the repository. Yeah, okay, I see now the problem. So the problem is the plugin really. Yes. Okay. Yep. So, George, how, how do we handle dependencies of... What dependencies are you talking about? Normally, like, each, uh, like, the global dependency, right? Every packet is always depends on, like, depends on the package. So we're, are we using, like, a severe or something like that? Do you have a concrete example? Because we are talking about the metric detail pages. When I talk about dependency, I mean an image that we display within the oh, page. Okay, okay, I understand. I was confusing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not talking about software dependencies. Does that solve your question, or was there something else? No, it's okay, that I okay Josh, thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. In, in, regards to, uh, in regards to general best practices, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm certainly not suggesting that we, we always have to use uh, full URL links. I'm just saying for the detail pages that we release, uh, it would be nice if those links were, uh, uh, were adjusted. Mm -hmm. One workaround we could do is have two commits one that changes all relative paths to absolute paths. That is the tag release. And the immediate next commit is the one reverting it again. So we have the absolute paths only in this one commit that we use for the release. And otherwise, we are working with relative paths. And so part of the release process is creating this one commit that converts the path. Do you think that would work or is that overkill or is that a better solution? So I don't know if for, for this release it would be good enough to do it by hand because there are not that many uh, links. Maybe it's like um, 10 or 20, I think. Because probably that the best solution is what, uh, um, what Don said, writing a script. But, but for now, if we are only having a handful of uh, relative links, I don't know if it's easier to do it by hand. So what do you think, Kevin? Does this impact anything other than the images in just a couple of metrics files? Is that, is that the only relative links that are impacted by this? Any links that are in the detail page will be broken. So if... Uh, most of the detail pages don't have links out to other documents uh, that I've seen, although uh, 
that's probably going to be changing soon with uh, ex possible external references and known implementations. So mm -hmm. uh, those links, yeah, those links will be will be broken. But uh, only if, only the relative ones, right? Not the fully qualified links. Only the relative ones, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm wondering is how how big of a problem is this? Are we are we over engineering a solution for two links that appear in one document, or is this a bigger a bigger issue? I'm wondering if we can just kind of look at the magnitude of the problem before we decide on a solution. I mean, does that make sense? Yeah, I think if we have the rule that inside the metric detail pages, we have absolute links for the release and they just stay that way until someone changes it. it then we just have to check again at the mm -hmm. next release and change them again. I think it's low overhead. We just have to check all the links. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't affect the way that we generally work because while we work, we can still use relative links. Okay. Unless someone has any more ideas on this, I think we can move on. Mm -hmm. Those were the, so we identified two concerns with the um, release. One was goals in focus areas for the evolution work group. We found a solution with multiple tables. Um, and we talked about the relative paths, for example, for images, and the potential solution is to manually convert them to absolute paths for the release and just have it be at that. Okay, Daniel, you had uh, added a question about what is the strategy of chaos to have the most impact of this release? Mm -hmm. You want to kick off the conversation? I'll turn over the microphone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so so I, I have missed some of the discussions during the last month. So maybe you have already discussed about this. It's like so. The question is mostly right. If we have some say social media strategy or or something, we can deliver here and there, or or, or discuss about this, or point to to some place. So the the URL that Kevin shared is one great starting point for this. But I was not aware of this, so it's part of the answer. <laughs> uh, the other is how to have, uh, yep, yeah, how to make the most of this. That's all. So, bye bye, Jesus. Bye, Jesus. Um, so this, is, this, is, this is more or less the, the, the open question I have. So I don't know if we have already discussed about this. So I don't remember having discussed the marketing strategy for the metrics. We have scheduled them to be released before <coughs> Open Source Summit in North America, so that we could have an impact there, and before ChaosCon. So one thing we'll do is talk about metrics at ChaosCon and there will be, I assume in the introduction we'll talk about it and then um, in the workshops we'll talk about it at ChaosCon. With regards to social media strategy, no one has taken up that um, yet. So we could do Twitter so it's, uh, well, it's social media and, and, and more things. So just an example. So I remember uh, at the Inner Source Commons, we were having some discussion about metrics and how chaos might be a standard in the industry, um, not only from the metrics perspective, but from the software perspective, like the place for, well, producing metrics, basically, whatever you are using, however you are defining uh, 
uh, whatever you're, yeah, how, how you are defining the metric. So the point is how, if chaos uh, wants to be that standard in somehow in the following years, how we should uh, work all together to, to reach that level. Um, having this release, I guess it's a really good starting point, but um, for instance, bringing the discussion about chaos to the inner source commons is one of my goals probably for the next inner source commons and any other similar place out of the usual open source, let's say, discussions would be probably good to have. One of the things that I think we should probably do is we should probably plan to have a, a blog post around the release where we talk more about the kind of the benefits of it and um, go into a little more a little more detail on the kind of marketing -y things. Mm -hmm. And I think we should get Sarah's help with that because one of the things that they do at the Open Source Summit is they make loads of announcements and they, you know, include things in press releases. And there's loads of stuff around new things coming out of um, the Linux Foundation that happen at the Open Source Summits. So, you know, what? this is small enough that I don't think we're going to get a mention in Jim's keynote, but um, there might be some, some press releases or something that we can, we can dovetail into with, with Sarah Conway's help. Is anyone, she, is anyone from our be, group? Oh, go ahead, Kevin. I'm sorry. No, you, you can finish what you were saying first. Oh, I was just going to say, she would also be great at helping us write the blog post so that we're doing a good job of positioning it along the lines of what Danny was just saying. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. I like that. Uh, is anyone from uh, the chaos group uh, presenting at Open Source Summit? It seems like, uh, in retrospect, that seems like maybe a uh, metrics release presentation would have been... Uh, a nice thing to do. Yep. Uh, but I, I, don't I have uh, diversity and inclusion um, presentation, I think. I forgot mm -hmm. what we submitted. <laughs> uh, but it uh, will definitely include that we released metrics as part of that presentation. Yeah, my metrics talk was declined, but they accepted another one of my talks. So I am talking about, about something else. Um, okay. So. Yep. Good job, good job, boff. Do you think we could sneak another event onto the schedule asking if we can? have that? Um, yeah, that's actually, that's actually a good question. We should, I'm not sure who to talk to at the Linux Foundation about that, but I would think that one of their projects releasing something would be a good talk and they might be able to squeeze us in if someone cancels, which always that happens. Might be, that might be something we need to talk to Matt about. He probably has the the connections to make something like that happen. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let Matt do it. <laughs> since, he's, since he's not here, he gets the task, right? That's the way that works. But no, I agree with you, Kevin. Actually, I think Matt would be a good person to do that because he's, he's the one that has a lot of the contacts into the Linux Foundation. Kidding aside. Okay. I can take the action item to ask Matt. <laughs> Okay, so we have several strategies I kept track in our meeting minutes. Um, one is we might want to think about social media strategy to post on Twitter. One is to talk about it at ChaosCon um, to include the release metrics mentions in our open source summit talks mm -hmm. and to maybe have a buff at the summit and then also write a blog post that we, we should probably pre prepare during the month of July and have it ready for them to share in time. And then also talk, uh, find other venues to talk about it like the inner source commons. 
Yeah, and we can also, at, maybe you said this, but because uh, I was looking at the agenda for ChaosCon, but, you know, we have that 15-minute welcome and overview section at the beginning, and we could focus that on, on talking about the metrics release. And I think you're emceeing, so you could start every introduction with, <laughs> please and conclude your talk with how it relates to our <laughs> release metrics. There you go. With the, with the metrics release, I am anticipating more traffic to the website. So if it would, uh, be appreciated if uh, if I could get people to go to the website and comment on the uh, style or content, anything that we can clean up uh, before the, the metrics release, just so the we're putting our best foot forward on the website. And by that, you mean across the entire website, right? Not just the metrics page? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good idea. You mean things like finding all the places we still call evolution GMB? Yes, yeah, anything from, <laughs> anything from the design of the website to content that may be incorrect to, uh, uh, yeah, if you just don't like the looks of something, feel free to comment on that or, uh, or, uh, or edit the markdown documents. Maybe we could put that call out to the, web, to the email list. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. If you could craft an email and send it to the mailing list specifically asking for this, then we have one email thread. Not that anyone uses emails. We're living in 2019, but get the idea. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, awesome. I think that's really good to have the website cleaned up. Good point. I have a feeling I'm, I'm uh, leading these meetings a little bit slower than Matt would, but I'm also taking minutes long side. And thank you for all of this. Yeah, just as a side note, I just noticed that we have sometimes a few seconds of silence. Okay. Uh, um, silence, okay. <laughs> silence means we can catch up with our thoughts. Mm -hmm. So that was good discussion about strategy of promoting chaos metrics. Um, in addition, so the blog post, there are several, several ways we can go about this. One is to just publish it on our website, uh, or we do what Sarah is so excellent in finding good places to, or places like the new stack or open source.com where we get a wider readership. And maybe, we can take one blog post that we have, pivot it a little bit a few times and have multiple blog posts focusing on different aspects of the release metrics and position them in different venues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. And the ecosystem. <laughs> No, especially places like the new stack have been really friendly to some of our some of our content. That might be a good place to talk about it. They like data focused posts. I really like the idea of blogging and publishing elsewhere and then just using the website as kind of an aggregator. Yeah. But we do want one one blog post which acts as kind of our press release yeah. on on the Chaos website. But then I think we should do like like Garrick said, a bunch of sort of other kind of focused posts that talk about different aspects of it on some of these other sites. Opensource.com is another good one that I think she's gotten us in before. Uh, 
I wrote down the ideas. We'll have to see who wants to write the blog post when the time comes. But it's good to have it on our radar. Agreed. Great. So what else is on everyone's mind? I think that the upcoming release, we are very single focused minded. <laughs> we already talked about it. So we might all get back 10 minutes. Um, I would I would just point out one thing. So the Open Source Summit Europe deadline, CFP deadline, I think is uh, July 1st. So, so we should make sure that we've got stuff submitted there and we should definitely submit a talk about the release and figure out who should submit that. Um, and then likewise, KubeCon uh, San Diego in November, their CFP closes in um, early July as well. So we should be thinking about uh, talks for that as well. I know we did a DNI talk there this year. That's a good point. I don't think I'll be going to Open Source Summit Europe this year. Um, I'm more focused on the US-based conferences. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I think someone from Vitoria will be there. I'm not sure about my about me, but yeah. Yeah, we can ask who wants to go and then hmm. uh, volunteer them for our chaos talk. Hmm. Okay, so Open Source Summit, you're coming up and KubeCon coming up, the CFP deadlines. Mm -hmm. um, GitHub Universe was the deadline yesterday. I submitted the chaos talk there, um, chaos metrics talk. So I'll just put this. Uh, Do we know if, if Matt is going to the Europe, Open Source Summit Europe? I doubt it. Okay, I was just thinking he'd be a great person to give the, the release talk. I can do it if no one else wants to do it, but I'd rather have somebody who's involved in more of the more of the groups, working groups than I am. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking in the four years that I've worked with Matt, um, I was always the one going to Europe, to the Open Source Summit Europe. I could talk to Sean too, because Sean's involved in most of the working groups, but I don't know, does he usually go to Europe either? Does he? he does sometimes go. Okay. He travels. He travels a lot more than, than Matt does. Okay. Yep. Maybe Sean and I can tag team. Perfect. Tag, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'll reach out to Sean. I'll I'll do that. Awesome. Thank you, Don. What else? This is, again, our weekly call with no agenda. So everything is on the table. And congratulations, by the way, to everyone who got talks accepted to ChaosCon. Good job. I know if we have a few here on the call who did get accepted. So congratulations. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And if anyone wants uh, wants to practice a presentation or wants feedback on it beforehand, uh, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help, and I'm sure there are others in the community as well who are willing to help and make sure that we have really good talks. So good. I just wanted. To... Sorry, Armstrong. I said, sounds good. Good idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, just shoot me an email if you want my input, feedback, help, whatever it is. I'm okay. happy to help. Okay, thanks. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, then uh, I'm closing the meeting. Thank you everyone for joining and have a good afternoon or evening. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.